Hi, I'm Joe Campanelli. Today we're gonna make a classic holiday drink, eggnog. Eggnog is something that you see, it's really popular in the United States and Canada, and it's based on raw bean eggs, milk, cream, spices, and some really great spirits like brandy and rum. Eggnog is actually something that got its start in, in England with the aristocracy and milk and cream were, were very, very expensive. So aristocracy would have them on the very, sort of very fanciest of holidays. In the 18th century, it came over to the colonies and brandy had a huge tax on it. So in the colonies, we would make um, all sorts of bourbons, whiskeys, and we got a lot of rum from the triangle trade. So we made our eggnog with rum and, uh, and whiskey, and that's the version that I'm gonna make for you today. So um, the recipe that I like to use is something that's out of Dale DeGroff's book, The Craft of the Cocktail. And Dale DeGroff is the godfather of modern mixology. He is the very, very best. He knows uh, every cocktail, the history behind all sorts of drinks, and he has a couple of great cocktail books. So you start with six eggs, and what you do is separate the yolks from the whites. So you're gonna beat the yolks until you get this really nice pale yellow color, and you separate the whites for later. See, now it starts to ribbon. That's when you know that it's in a good place. And then you're gonna add Let's start with a quart of milk. I really like this Ronnie Brook milk. It's a local farm. But you can use any whole milk. And a pint of cream. Now you'll see some other recipes that will use a little bit more cream. I like this because of the higher portion of milk means that it's gonna be lighter and you can drink a lot more of it. Okay, so now we'll do six ounces of dark rum. You can use spiced rum or any dark rum. Captain Morgan's is fine. This is one of my favorites. I also like Black Seal. And then six ounces of your favorite bourbon whiskey. Do a little bit more. Now that we have all this, we can make a little bit more room. There we go. Now remember, we separated six eggs and I've taken the whites and beaten them into stiff peaks. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more of a whisk. Now, I know that some of us are afraid of using raw eggs. And if you are afraid of using raw eggs, you can check out my fake eggnog or eggnog fake out recipe on ehow.com. But it's totally okay to use the raw eggs. Um, just, make sure if you, just make sure that if you touch the shells, you wash your hands really thoroughly. All right. Now, what you wanna do is Fold in your egg whites. And the reason I beaded the egg whites is so that you add a lot more air to the whites and it really lightens up your cocktail. So now we're just gonna fold this in. You know what? I'm gonna use my whisk, which should make it a little bit easier. You don't wanna beat it too much because you wanna keep all that nice air. But there you go, just fold that in. All right, you can now, now you can Pour it into your favorite punch bowl. And take a glass. If you can get really nice big ice cubes, the larger the ice cube, the better it's gonna be because it's not gonna water down your drink and it'll keep it nice and cold. You just ladle out a little bit. See how frothy and smooth that is? Whoa. And then to finish it off, we just add a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg or cinnamon, whichever you prefer. And there it is. That is a traditional eggnog cocktail that's made a little bit lighter because it has a bit more milk and has those bean egg whites, which make it really nice and frothy. Now next time you're gonna throw a party, don't go to the store and buy the pre-made eggnog. See how easy that was? You could just make it at home. My name is Joe Campanelli. Tune in to eHow.com for more. Cheers. Mm -hmm.